So we're going to start this boss fight in this new episode of Crisis Core with some post-commentary, mostly because there were some issues with some audio desync, so I had to re-record this boss fight and cutscenes, mainly around the sniper portion in the previous episode, so I wanted to give my apologies. That's why you missed most of the sniping minigame, which by the way was complete fucking ass. I hated it, eventually. But, um... Everything's fine, I just wanted to commentate on this because I've recorded this footage here at like 2 in the morning, but once we cut away and we are back in the next area we're going to be right after this boss fight, uh, we'll be back to live commentary and stuff in the future. I believe there's one other part in the rest of the LP that ends up having an issue, but to be honest it's so minor later on that it's not even a big deal. This boss, by the way, is completely trumped by being able to dodge and spamming the Fire Raga chest that we picked up. So, it's really easy to just throw these at the G Eliminator and just take them out. Uh, honestly, it's extremely easy. Um, uh, in terms of bosses in this game, it seems like magic and can trump them very easily. That and um, it feels like levels aren't super duper needed. Like, Materia, I feel like, carries you throughout the whole game. That and the DMW. All you really need to do is block if you feel like doing it and mostly just getting a high level materia and just just spamming it just spamming its magic attack anyway that's pretty much all i have to say for this fight so probably skip ahead a little bit uh or just watch the rest of the fight and i will see you guys later on the power of soldier all right here comes the big one Angeal, what do I do? Tell me. Yo, we're in Gangaga. Man, does it look like crap. Man, how long is Cloud gonna be knocked out? That's... That's nuts. He's just out, out of it. Worried about his parents, we should probably go see them, maybe? They'll probably kill your parents. Seems like something Shinra would do. Hate to be a negative Nancy about it. Seems like what they like to do. We have an email from someone I don't care about. Hmm. 
CPR, watch your back. A whole battalion of infantry men have been called in. Coming out in crazy numbers. Well, he's got my back in terms of sending me emails. But that's about all he can do. Oh, we were on the outskirts. Now we're entering an area that actually looks nice. Activating combat mode. So these lizard things look cool. You know, in terms of being lizard dudes. And they're not too difficult. I welcome our new enemies. A remedy. A save. Let's keep going. Behind you. <laughs> so predictable. Couldn't you guess your hometown would be... First place we'd look? <laughs> Here to see your parents? Yeah, so? What's wrong with that? I see. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. It was pretty careless. We'll be going. Be careful. Security is very tight right now. Apparently, another target is in the area. Who? Angeal. I see. I see? He died by your hand. You're not surprised. I think he may have helped us. Escape Shinra Manor. Interesting. The sighting reports were true. But why would he come to a place like Ngaga? He came here to see you. What other reason could there be? Run away if you can, Angeal! The Turks are watching! I'll give you ten minutes. After that, I return to the Turks. Return? Right now, I'm not in the mood. I can't bring bad news to your parents. My mom. How is she? She's worried. She thinks after all this, you won't be able to find a wife. What's up with that? They're nice people, and they're doing fine. Good. That's all I need to know. Yeah. How's your folks? I was... raised inside Shinra. <clears throat> hey, Sisne. Would you mind... keeping my folks company for a while? Alright. No problem. He'll probably ask you to join the family. Already happened. What did you say? Sisne! Not my real name. What? You have five minutes left. Angeal? Angeal, it is you! Hey, wait! We're always getting heightened emotions. Well, might as well act on them. Activating combat and head toward there. But first, battle! That I almost care about. Man, we took a beating there. Hey, Angeal, you want me to help me beat these enemies so I can go find you? 
and you'd be like, hey, stop using my sword like that. Prove your honor to me. Oh no, we're poisoned, look. You gotta be careful, we're taking all this extra damage because we're poisoned while doing this. Or I guess not, don't worry about it. Hmm. And do I wish I had something to, uh, heal my magic? We can't always be lucky. The hills. I love going to hills. Hey look, a waterfall. And grass. And box. It's pretty much a chest though. Elixir! Activating combat mode. I may use that on I'll save it for a boss though. Save elixirs for a boss for when I need to actually like really heal my magic. Look at this Sky Gunner. But why am I doing this? Oh yeah, because I don't have magic. I was about to say, I should be using all that cool magic tech I got. That I can't use. Because I'm short one point. HP Mako Stone. Use 5 in Materia Fusion for HP plus 10. Ah, so we need to pick up 5 of those and then we can... And then we can do amazing things, apparently. So that's cool. I'm still going the right way, right? Yeah. Just wanted to check. Wanted to always make sure I'm going the right way, because if I'm going the wrong way, I get sad. I'm horrible with direction. Yo, where's those Mako cells? I need them. Also, that Genesis copy's hair is completely white. I don't know why you want to help me, Angel, because you, you ran earlier. Well, let's do it. I got it. That's a lot of damage. That's as strong as it gets. Ah, that's the best I can do for magic for now. Double seven null physical? Okay, cool. I'll just do that and interrupt your spells. Oh god. Forgot these guys have limit breaks. Here comes the hurt. Oh wait, it's physical. Okay, cool. What a bunch of jokes you guys are. That was a lot of damage. Just gonna take one more hit. Is it gonna be a Sephiroth move? I wouldn't want it to be, because Sephiroth was a big meanie. Alright, Sephiroth, I guess I forgive you. Help me kill the bad guy. Concentrate. I'm feeling it! His cells are completely useless. Cells. Earth. Cells. Earth. Cells. 
You are a former member of Soldier. Your cellular structure has already mutated. Hollander, you did it to yourself. Yes. After nearly being killed by Genesis, it was really all I could do to survive. I merely borrowed some cells from Genesis. You know you're degrading. Indeed. But there is still some hope. S. Cells. S. Cells. S. Cells. The gift of the goddess. A pure S cell sample will stop the degradation process. Pure? There are two of you. On the run. Uh, no. One is a former soldier operative, the other an infantryman. That infantryman carries within his body the last pure S cells in the world. Hey! <laughs> Do you know the verse in Act 4 that leads into the final act? Of course not. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface, quietly but surely. Enough about sacrifices and endings. I don't want to hear it. You don't understand the beauty of these words. How tragic. I'm not surprised. Even I didn't understand all of it. The greatest mystery behind the gift of the goddess? The water's surface. And the answer I have arrived at is the life stream. What? There are various theories regarding the missing final act. However, only my theory is correct, and I will prove it to you. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> you will understand. He's like, I'm gonna touch Cloud. I like the way he slowly just goes over to him like that. It's like it's like sneaking up on him. And it's like Cloud Run, it's like no. For the purposes of things, Cloud will not be able to move for the next ten years. And there's Angeal. Wait. That just doesn't fucking look like the fuck? Like for some reason I didn't notice this before, because I was Dizzy fucking looking at other shit during the cutscene. Is that fucking Lazard with Angeal's head? Oh fuck, this game's about to get really stupid. Oh, I can't wait to hear about this. Whatever, whatever. We have an important battle. Activating Alright, I'll show off Thundaga Blade. Which is about 900 damage. He also vomits on you, and it gives you a status effect, which is really annoying. I went into this fight with no remedies, that's why I didn't like this fight initially. But now, if I have the access to my magic and magic ups, this guy should be a joke. Same with his cronies. Because normally you do about 700 damage to him, and this thunder knocks him on his ass, apparently. I also was cursed, and I forgot to heal that before the fight, so no DMW. So essentially I was running in completely half-cocked. Yeah, level up, Thundaga. Go ahead. Let's show him what I can do. Ha! Huh, can't do anything with that. Hunter's like, I'm going to defeat you by hitting you with my hand back. Like, yeah, sure. You try that. Oh, that feels so good that it always just knocks him on his ass like an idiot. So satisfying just to get this dude and put him in his place. Which, in my opinion, is the fucking ground. 
It's like, this is what you get, guy who is clearly just, you know, a Hojo wannabe. He does have a thing he does where he makes himself endure and invincible, which I guess he'll end up uh, transitioning into his uh, army of worms with. They also drop healing at him, so that helps. Aw, oh, this, this fight is so much better now that I have items. Because otherwise, I'm forced to do physical attacks, and in groups where you're trying to take up the boss, that is absolutely maddening. Because then you can't you can't target him because it only targets the characters that are in front of you, and the worms will get in front of you. It's 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 a bad time all around. I'm going to fucking die. Oh, uh, they can't stop? Did the worm do that? Couldn't be. Who the hell has Time Lord Worms? Whatever it is, we just gotta deal a hundred thousand. Ah, and here's his limit break. Dimension Missile. I, I didn't actually get to see this. So what makes it a Dimension Whistle? Is it because you threw- I paid. Wait a minute, did he just pull a missile out of his bag? What a fucking... I get it. He pulled it from another dimension because... Fuck, I don't know anymore. Alright, he's invincible. He also is only a third down. What a ridiculous boss. Keep them coming. Damn it, I thought I got out of that. There's just so many things that he does in this fight. This is supposed to be the obnoxious boss that no one likes. This is one of those bosses where you're gonna fight it, and you're not gonna have that much fun fighting him that much at all. Because, generally, I've, you know, we've seen these bosses before in video games. They're the, they're the ones that heal themselves, the scientist guys, just, just bosses that summon a lot of ads, summon a lot of extra enemies, do a lot of things that break up your momentum of dealing damage. It's, it's nothing new, but it is very disappointing, because you're never going to like these kind of bosses, because they just won't stay down. I can't believe Hollander has 100,000 HP. We're talking... I don't know, why should he have 100,000 HP? He's a fucking scientist injected with cells that make his body fall apart. He's supposed to be weaker than he is now, but apparently the, the enhanced parts of Genesis make him stronger, but he's still degrading. So why the fuck's he got 100,000 HP? I'm starting to actually get legitimately angry at this. That makes no fucking sense. People talk about all this thing Kingdom Hearts, that doesn't make sense. This is fucking bonkers, though. This is one of those moments where, and I usually don't like saying stuff like that, because one of the more annoying things on the internet when people say, oh, why does this happen? Video game logic type of thing. And it's really, ob and people are really obnoxious when they do that. But this one makes me mad just because I don't like the boss. Yeah, just give me something, man. I need to start dealing damage. Ah, damn, you keep cock teasing me with a level. Is this the end? I'm trying. I'm trying. I really am trying. All right. Let's see. Great, more worms. I just got rid of the last bunch. 
Fuck you and your worms. I'm gonna lose like half of my ethers in one fight. It's it's actually hilarious. Genesis! What's up, buddy? This is your cohort. You mind helping make sure that your cohort does worse? The gift of the goddess and all those other stupid things you say. So, <laughs> so I, I was reading a uh, NeoGAF thread, as I'm known to do, and since the Final Fantasy VII remake got announced, they um, uh, details came out said, from Namor saying that obviously the remake is not going to be the same because it's called a remake. Because there are some people in the world who assumed that a Final Fantasy VII remake was going to be one-to-one -one and was just going to be the exact same game, same script, same everything, but with some slight updated, with some obvious, actually, updated graphics for the current generation of consoles. And those people were like, oh no, what does that mean? That some things will be changed. Uh, many people went, oh, okay, so characters like Vincent Valentine and Yuffie will become required things instead of some fun side stuff. You know, just to just to make sure you experience those things and it's a good idea to do that. And then other people are like, oh man, I can't wait for Genesis! And I'm like, yes! And other people said, and then there are plenty of comments saying, oh my god, these guys better not fucking add Genesis to this game. And then someone saying, who's Genesis? And the only response someone gave him was despair. That and like three other people just screaming the gift of the goddess and quoting Loveless. And I think one of those people got banned. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm misremembering if someone got banned for that. Maybe they got banned for something unrelated. But you know what? I probably would have uh, too. Genesis is a perfectly enjoyable villain. But I can see some people not liking these types of games who are fans of the original 7, because this is Expanded Universe 7. To be fair, this is coming from a lot of plot and, uh, and stuff that's uh, from a lot of the creators there, you know. Like, Namor was there. He's worked at Square since, like, Final Fantasy V. But I can understand people don't like things that, you know, them doing changes. I, for one, welcome them, because I, I, I really like the stuff they did with this. I think Crisis Core is an excellent game. Uh, Dirt to Surface is alright. Uh, the things they do in it are interesting. A and the fact that, um, uh, it's not really a spoiler, but the end of uh, Dirt to Surface is on hard mode. I think it's on hard mode, or if you uh, get all of the G reports, reveals that Genesis is supposed to, like, be around. And that was the first edition, and really that's not so much a spoiler for this game, because fucking these games are weird. Because Dirt to Servers came out first, and pretty much shows Genesis. A dude in a red cloak who looks like Genesis in this, only in a more CG look, saying that it's time to do things. And then this game comes out and shows you Genesis, and then you get excited saying, okay! Now this game's supposed to not only set up the Zack thing, but to continue that expanded universe into more made of, um, of Seven, and show what's going on with it. We get to see, you know, Genesis out in, in a new game. Whether Vincent is the lead, or maybe Cloud is the lead, whatever it is, it'll be the fourth game in the Final Fantasy universe that was actually needed. But unfortunately, I guess due to Gak, I guess, not wanting to be involved with Final Fantasy stuff anymore, or maybe asking for a certain amount of money, or something like that. I don't know the exact details that they didn't continue past this game. This was the last uh, Final Fantasy 7 related game, which is very, very much a disappointment. You know, it's it's a moment where, um, like, they didn't continue this, and this was actually, uh, you know, actually interesting. That being said, I think 7 is a really good series of games. Um, I haven't played all of 7. I've played a little bit of it. Uh, whether or not I'll be doing the original Final Fantasy 7 or the PC re-release as a project, uh, I don't know. If I'll do that or wait for the, um, or wait for the new one. But what I do know is that 7 is good. It has a good story. A lot of... Uh, it is probably one of the most in needed... It is a game that needs a remake more than most video games do ever. 
its graphics in Final Fantasy VII do not fucking hold up. In the s same with Metal Gear Solid One. Those are the kind of games that need to be remade because if you look at Seven, Seven looks like shit because it was originally going to be made for the N64. Then Nintendo said we want to do cartridges, and it squares like, yo, could you just do discs? Because that would be so much better, and the graphical fidelity would look better, and it would, you know, you could add FNVs, and you know, the the music could be better. And Nintendo just wanted to do cartridges because that's what they had been doing for years. So Square moves on to PlayStation. As a result, you're looking at kind of what you would expect in N64 version of a Final Fantasy game to look like you see that in the graphics, which effectively makes everyone look like Legos, which unfortunately causes issues, and then it has the uh, the horrible thing where you see the um, N64 style in the overworld, and then you have the somewhat full, full models in battle, you can do it, and then you have the FMV look, and yeah, there's I'm three specific, now. almost completely different models for the characters in three types of situations. And that's just bad, man. It really just needed a remake. And I'll say this, this is the perfect time. When watching that trailer for Final Fantasy VII's remake, I looked and it didn't even seem real. I didn't want to, I didn't believe at first that it was Seven because when they were looking at the graphics and the way everything looked, it looked better. Than the FMVs for for 15, for Final Fantasy 15. This looked like the pinnacle of what they could do at Square with a like a Final Fantasy type of look. It looked fantastic, and at first it made me think it wasn't that, at the very least. Also because I was watching E3 with like four people, and everyone has to fucking talk all the time. So as a result, you don't hear everything that the press conference guy is talking about. And it appears, and you go, this looks absolutely amazing. And this is the perfect time for them to release it. You know, it's it's coming up on 18 years that since the first game came out. It'd be cool if they release it for the 20th anniversary, which who knows how long it'll take. A lot of people like to say that uh, Square Games, specifically Tetsuya Nomura, my, my video game developer waifu, it takes a long time to make video games, which, uh, to be honest, I can agree with. He does, he does take his time. Uh, but I, but really, really, you know, stuff happens. But I believe, you know, it takes time to make games. I've been really impressed with how long it's taken, you know, how, how uh, progress he's, they've made on stuff like this, because they're obviously coming up on the new consoles and stuff. But I can very easily see this game, this 7 remake, coming out at the end of the year in two years from now. Like, I can see that happening. And with that, enough filler commentary done, we've beaten Hollander. Whew! It's been a long time, Zack. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened? That thing wasn't so tough. I can't fight like a first. I'm just an Angeal copy. Copy? It's Lazard. So... You're the one who helped Hollander out of Junon? Why would you do such a thing? To exact my revenge, I needed Hollander. You really chose the wrong friends, didn't you? I agree. I never dreamed I'd be turned into an Angeal copy. Well, just be happy you're linked to Project G. It's a strange feeling. Mm -hmm. The lust for vengeance that had so consumed my life is all but gone now. In its place is a desire to help you. 
desire to save Genesis. No. It's bigger than that. I... I want to save the world. Nothing strange about that. And Jill lives inside you. <laughs> Genesis is trying to obtain the gift of the goddess. But what is it exactly? No. Whatever it is, he must be stopped. I just don't understand what he's talking about at all. What should I do? Angeal may show us the way. Perhaps. Maybe. I hope so, Director. Huh. Director. So, Zack, what is your dream? Huh? Oh. Let's see. To become a hero. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Oh, come on. Lend me a hand. You and Angeal both. If we pull this off, we'll all be heroes. At the very least, I'd feel like one. So, Zack, where is Genesis? Uh. I see. <laughs> 